What is up, everybody? Um, I am here in a hotel in Kennewick, Washington right now. I'm about, uh, well, it was about six days in my ride, and then I had to stay in Kennewick for, uh, I think I'm going on day five now. Uh, we had the, the heat wave. It was absolutely ridiculous in the Pacific Northwest. So here in Kennewick, uh, we got up to about 117 degrees. Uh, which is kind of hot. So I decided to halt my trip across the country for a little bit uh, until it cooled down. And then I can, uh, the, the plan is to go north up to Cheney, Washington, just south of Spokane, and then practically going east from there. Uh, the next stop in, um, on my tour is uh, Kalispell, Montana, where I have an aunt uh, that lives there. Um, and then my mom will actually be there visiting my aunt. So it's gonna be perfect timing that I'll be able to visit with them. Um, but I figured this would be actually a great chance for me to go through uh, my bike and everything that I'm packing for my trip. Um, so I'm gonna go through all the gear and I, I have a very cramped space. I'm in this hotel, like I said. Um, so I just have my bike resting against this table um, and we'll try to unpack everything. So you can see exactly what I have or what I have in my bags and what I'm carrying with me across the country. Um, so I'd first like to say I do have my camera and my tripod um, out, obviously filming this. Um, I don't know exactly what tripod that I have. It's an Ez Esti uh, tripod. It's pretty solid. I think it's 72 inches tall. And then I have a Sony A7C camera. Uh, and I currently have a 20 millimeter wide angle lens on this. Uh, shooting this to just try to grab as much space as possible. And I have a little, uh, little boom mic. Um, that I'm trying out for the first time. Uh, so that gear is not on my bike and uh, let's dive in. So first and foremost, right, the bike that I have that I'm taking with me is a Surly Long Haul Trucker. It's a steel frame um, and I have a couple racks on there. So I think with, I don't know specific weights because I haven't weighed everything <laughs> yet, but I plan to do that tonight. Um, I'm gonna have access to a scale. So I'll update this with uh, weights for everything, uh, but I would guess that my my frame with the racks are probably in the high 30 pounds like 37 38 pounds um, And it's a 56 centimeter frame. Uh, I'm six foot uh, with a 32 33 uh, foot or three 32 33 foot inseam inch inseam uh, stand over height um, So let's yeah, let's dive in so first What's not on the bike what I usually wear with me? Um, right now. I'm wearing some pants and socks and shirt and my underwear um, since I'm obviously not riding. Um, but I have my riding shoes that I use, um, SPD. They're nice mountain bike specific. Um, they're decently comfortable. Maybe at some point I'm gonna change them out, but for now they're okay. I have a pair of Gooder sunglasses um, that I use. These things are freaking awesome. Always have these on when I'm riding to protect my eyes from the sun. Uh, any bugs? You know, or, you know, when you get a little teary eyed when you're just bombing a hill. Yeah. Sunglasses help with that. Um, <laughs> and then I have gloves. Um, these are super essential when you're riding a, a really long time. Um, they protect your hands in some way. Then um, you also get pretty cool tan lines. I haven't been riding for a couple days, so <laughs> they probably uh, escaped. Um, and then I have my helmet. You know, got to have this. And then I don't think I mentioned my little cycling cap, which I like, and then a little mirror uh, to check the traffic behind me. Um, so that's kind of what's on my person at all times. And then let's dive into the cockpit. <laughs> so this is kind of my region where I'm obviously spending five, six hours a day. Um, so I have water bottle, so super easy access to fluids, um, which I drink a lot of, obviously you should too. Uh, hydrate or die, right? You know what they say. Uh, <laughs> and then I have two bottles on my frame. These are both uh, 26 ounces. And then the one in my cockpit is 20 ounces. And then I'll show you some other uh, water that I carry with me along the way. And then I have a little portable speaker that I like to jam out to. Um, up to this point in my trip, like I said, I'm six days in, about 350 miles. I've only used this rather than headphones, even though I have a bunch of headphones. Uh, because I've been on on roads that are pretty sketchy, you know, and there's a lot of trucks driving right past me And I didn't feel super safe to kind of plug in and not be aware of my surroundings and 
can hear people being jack rabbits, you know, whipping past me. Um, yep, so I have this speaker. It's pretty loud and pretty awesome. So I just jam out when I can. Um, and then I have this little bag to carry my water and some other stuff if I really want. Uh, really cheap, bought it on Amazon for like, I don't know, seven bucks. Uh, kind of a steal. Um, but then I have this Ordelieb um, handlebar bag, which I'm actually obsessed with. Actually, absolutely obsessed with. Um, for one, it has this little uh, little strap, and I almost always carry that with me whenever I go into any store. Um, so that's really helpful, because uh, this is where all my valuables are, at least um, my really significant ones. Um, so if you, let's just dive into this, right? So that's kind of what it looks like inside. It's a little bit of a mess, um, but I have a little baggie uh, full of cords and headphones. Um, so that's kind of nice. And then I have my wallet and this has, I have a bunch of cash. Um, actually, no, I don't have any cash. So don't steal this from me or rob me. I have no money. Um, and then I have cards and my ID. Um, so I always have that on my person. I just added this to my little stash, some noon for some electrolytes. So I just pop that in a water bottle um, as I'm continuing onwards. I have a little lens cleaner. So I always have my camera in this bag. Um, so I can clean my lens with this little lens cleaner thing. I have a mask because um, some places still require a, a mask um, to enter, whether that be a restaurant, a gas station, a library, a post office. Um, so I always have that on me. I am vaccinated fully. Um, so most places I feel comfortable, but obviously if they say put on a mask, I'll put on a mask because it's my civic responsibility. Um, and then I have a little headlamp um, that I'll use at night for camp. I have a little, this is one of my two uh, chargers um, to charge my devices uh, portably. Um, and then I have both my tail light and then my headlight. I haven't used these a whole lot because I've only ridden through um, or during the day. Um, I have done this, I, I've added the tail light uh, uh, during the day on some really busy roads to just add a little bit more visibility um, so I don't get absolutely slaughtered um, by uh, some kind of truck doing things that they shouldn't be doing as in trying to kill cyclists, but I digress. Um, and then I have some AirPods uh, and then that usually is stored in this little baggie full of all my other cords and my headphones. Um, and AirPods are nice because you can, I like them because right, they're really portable, but then you can either uh, opt in for the noise canceling or have a transparent so you can hear a little bit what's going on outside of your little internal world of music or podcasts. Um, so I've, I've always really liked AirPods and those are the AirPods Pro. I did bring my vaccination card and I have that in this front pack just in case uh, for whatever reason I'm, I need to get a booster uh, for a vaccine at some point over the next three, three and a half months uh, that I'm riding across the country. Um, and then it's also nice, right? Just in case somebody asks uh, if I've been asking it, va vaccinated, I have uh, proof. Um, so that's that. And then I have a little, a few trinkets. I have a Swiss army knife. I bring this um, on any camping trip, any backpacking trip that, that I'm on. They're so incredibly useful. Um, and I always have a pen on me because inevitably, you know, you're gonna be at a campsite, you're filling out some kind of a form and they don't have any pencils or pens uh, that you can use or when you're signing something. I always like having a pen on me. I'm always prepared, ex-Boy Scout. Um, and then I have uh, this little lanyard thing. So I do have an Anytime Fitness membership um, that I can use somewhere across the country or anywhere across the country. Uh, so if I see an Anytime Fitness, I'll definitely leverage that to um, take a shower and just chill. Maybe lift some weights if I'm really feeling up to it, but I doubt, you know, I'll be down for that. <laughs> and then, so what's really cool about this bag, right, is uh, you can lock it to your bike, to your frame. Um, so they, I have a little key that comes with it. And also with this uh, little lanyard, it's a little sparker, which is really cool. Um, so I light my camp stove uh, with this when in need. I have TP always on me uh, just in case an emergency happens on the road and things get a little messy, if you know what I mean. Um, 
chapstick. My lips have been so chapped in the desert in eastern Washington. Uh, so I've been using that. My allergies have been absolutely absurd. So uh, I've been using Benadryl. And lastly, I have this beautiful buff that my mom gave me of Banff National Park. It's actually super cool. Um, but these are perfect because I believe they're SPF 50. Uh, so they're great sun protection if you want to have this on your neck. Um, I use it as a blindfold. Um, sometimes, I don't know if blindfold is the right word, but like a sleeping mask, right? When you're going to sleep and it's like 930 and the sun's still out. Uh, so I'll just throw this over my eyes and it's usually pretty good. And it, it serves as a great um, like protection for, for my camera and my phone that's always in here. I didn't mention that. I always have my phone uh, in this pack. Um, so when it bounces around, things don't get all jostled and super destroyed. So that's nice. Um, I'm kind of rushing through this because I have to check out of my hotel at 11 and it's currently 10, 16. So let's see if we can get through the rest of this bike and I can get on my road on the road. Um, I'm staying with, uh, uh, my coaches, my old coach from university of Portland, his uncle who lives in town. He's incredible. His name's Phil, really cool guy. Um, but let's continue with what is on my bike. Um, so move some of the Nikes behind. Mm, gone with the chair. So let's start with this guy. It is my tent. I put it in a dry bag. It is a, a passage, an REI passage one. Um, it's not super lightweight. It's not super portable like some of the really lightweight backpacking tents, but it serves the purpose that I need it to, uh, which is to provide shelter at night. <laughs> so far, so good. I'm enjoying it. And I just added new stakes uh, from REI here in town. Um, the ones that they came with were like flat ended, which they're super annoying because you can't put them into any ground. Um, so I added some stakes with a sharp uh, tip so that I can really drive that into the ground, which you need to do, right, when you're camping. So I have a total of four bags on here, two front, two back, and they're all Ordelib. I don't know how you pronounce that, Ordelib, Ordelib, um, and they're waterproof. They're phenomenal. They've held up up to this point and they just connect to the frame in a really cool mounting system. So I can show that to you. Uh, but for these bags, and then I have my sleeping bag back here. Um, it's, I'll go on this angle, um, but it's in a compression uh, dry bag um, by C to Summit. Really enjoy it, actually. It's been great to me. But let's dive in. So first, let's go with the front. The front is where all the cool things are. So let's go down here. Um, in this front bag, I have all my toiletries uh, and first aid. So toiletries, just kind of the basics, sunscreen. Um, I do, I did bring deodorant. I know a lot of uh, people are really against bringing anything like that because it adds weight. Um, but I am kind of intermingling with a lot of people on this trip and that's a big piece of why I'm biking across the country um, from seaside to Portland, Maine and I want to smell decent at least not absolutely horrible so I added that I have the toothbrush toothpaste all that kind of good stuff I have a little um, first aid kit um, that I've kind of made myself I used a bag that I bought a first aid kit in but it had way too much stuff things that I didn't need so I made it my own and then also in this bag I have another portable charger. Um, this one is a little bit more intense. That's the brand. I don't know if you can see that. Um, don't know much about it. Only used it a couple times so far. Like I said, I'm really not that far into my trip. So this is still, I'm still learning a lot as I go. Um, but again, so far so good. Let me hydrate a little bit with some coffee. I'm doing a lot of talking. This is good. And then also in this front bag, I have a little pouch full of my electronic cords. Um, there's a lot in here. I know I could probably slim this down and be more minimal, but why? Um, I really don't mind carrying a little bit more uh, if I'm prepared. Um, so I have, yeah, a bunch of cords um, for my devices, which I'll continue to go through as I continue onwards. And I do have like an SD, a couple SD cards in there also for my camera. And then this is the big kahuna here. This is my laptop. Um, sleeve 
and I'm bringing a, a MacBook Air. It's one of the new M1 chip uh, MacBooks. I've really enjoyed it actually. It's done everything that I've needed up to this point. Uh, I don't know if it can handle really intense video, video editing. Um, I guess when I go through this video, we'll see how it handles. Um, but it's been great. And the battery life is like 19 hours. Like it's phenomenal. I've, I haven't had to charge it a whole lot uh, when I was riding. And then I also have an iPad mini with a keyboard for additional uh, writing. Because uh, I'm, I'm vlogging. Vlogging, yes, trying to vlog, but blogging mostly um, this whole trip. And it's a practice that I've been wanting to get into for quite some time, which is writing. So this trip has served as a perfect opportunity to really get into it, you know, and reflect and, you know, just think and write about my day and about how I'm feeling about that day. Um, so that's one bag down. So let's continue onwards to uh, the bag on the other side. Um, and you see this rack and you kind of see how I undid this bag, but this is the mounting system with these orderly bags and they're freaking sick. Uh, this is my little strap for the handlebar bag, but this is the mounting system. It just kind of connects to your rack. Um, and then this little pulley thing opens and closes, right? These little things to really cling to the rack so they don't fly off when you're plowing a massive hill. Um, it's kind of fun. So I have this little miscellaneous bag. Um, so I have a book. Um, it's the joy of living by some Buddhist guy. So I figured that'd be kind of intense um, while I'm in my experiential, you know, trip across the freaking United States of America. Um, and then I do have and then just some other stuff in there that's not super exciting. I have some batteries for my camera, spare batteries, a couple lens caps. Uh, but this thing is freaking gnarly. Um, it's, you just plug that in and then look at all those different um, outlets, converters that you have, um, which is one plug. So it's easy to charge all my devices uh, with that sucker if I only have, you know, one access to just one outlet somewhere. So that's cool. I'm an extra bungee cord. Uh, I love bungee cords. I use that to tie down everything on my bike. <laughs> so just in case something happens to one, I have an extra. I have my sleeping pad, um, Thermarest. Is that what it says? Yep, Thermarest. Uh, this sucker is pretty solid. It's really lightweight. I've enjoyed it so far. No complaints. Um, and then I have in this guy uh, just another bag. But I have all my camping like cookware stuff. So I have a little jet boil. Um, this guy's sick and it reminds me to have adventure. I'm on an adventure, but I need to have adventurous experiences on my adventure. So it's such a good reminder as I'm cooking my muesli in the morning and boiling water for my coffee. Um, really cool. So I have some fuel in there and I have a little, uh, a little spork. Um, people really sleep on these suckers. Um, and I know they're plastic, so that's not super great. I love it. I haven't had any issues. And then I just have a little camp mug, get mug in there too, if I ever want to drink something hot. And I do have a foldable tire, um, just in case something happened um, to my bike. Um, my One of my tires, if something gets slashed or there's a puncture that I can't repair, um, I have a foldable tire to replace. Um, so let's continue onwards. I have two bags left. And then I have my little, uh, uh, this is my bike tool bag. So let's actually dive into that first. Um, it's right, I think they're called saddlebags, right? Seat post bags, whatever you want to call them. Slide off, really nice. Um, and in here, just kind of your essential basic. Let's get the wide stance so you can see my face in this. Um, just the essential stuff. I have oil, um, lube for uh, the chain. Um, I have uh, tire levers. Um, repair kit, a multi-tool, it's like a 30 function multi-tool, a little spoke wrench. I do have Schrader Presta converters. Um, since I do use Schrader for my, my uh, tubes, um, not everybody has, oh no, no, excuse me, I use a Presta um, thing for my, for my tubes and not everybody um, has a Presta pump. Uh, so then this converter, I'll show you this. Uh, my brother Ben just told me about it. Good thing to have on hand. Um, this little converter can just screw on 
um, and then convert like your standard pump from a Schrader to a little Presta. So that's kind of cool. Uh, just had a little brain fart, but uh, see, so I have a little uh, spoke wrench, um, instant uh, non glue tire or uh, tube repair patches. And then I have a tire, a couple tire boots. So just in case my tire gets slashed and it's repairable, a tire boot will kind of serve as, you know, some support around that injured area on that tire. Thankfully, I haven't had to use that yet, um, but we will see moving onwards. Um, so let's go with this bag real quick. This is the front bag. And this is where a lot of the, the bulk of my stuff is because these are some larger bags that I have back in back. Um, I have a cable lock. It's not the most secure, but most people from what I've experienced so far, um, I would knock on wood if I could not get my bike stolen. But I think in most places, people don't want to carry a, a 200 or 200, like a 120 pound rig uh, with a bunch of gear. Like that's kind of a hard thing to steal. Um, so my big focus whenever I'm going into a store, a grocery store, a library, what have you, is to just make it more difficult, right, for a thief to kind of steal anything. So I have this little cable lock and then I'll tie bungee cords around my frame um, or my, uh, my helmet, you know, around the tire and frame just to make it more difficult to steal it and prevent somebody from taking that action. Um, so that would be a big bummer. So I have a little food bag here. Um, there's not a whole lot in here because I'm going to the store before I leave. I'm heading out tomorrow again on my trip um, north to Cheney, Washington. Um, so I usually have just kind of the essential stuff that I like to have on, which is have on me, which is uh, granola bars, peanut butter, bagel, trail mix, some fruit, and that's about it. So I always like to have that on my person um, for calories. I have a spare tube that I just repaired. Got a couple flats within the six days of me riding. I have a rain jacket. Um, useful, obviously, when it rains. It has not rained yet um, on my trip. I'm thankful for that. I'm not a huge fan of riding in the rain, though I imagine most people aren't. Um, I have a foldable, I guess it's not foldable, but a compactable, um, like, uh, puffy jacket by Patagonia. It just packs into one of its pockets. Love it, really enjoy it. Um, haven't used it, like I said, but I imagine as the trip goes on, some nights are going to get a little cold, so I'm glad I have that on hand just in case or when I'm ready for it. I um, have like a mid-layer um, sweatshirt. Um, I use this to kind of wrap my lenses uh, for my camera. Um, go Gophers. Yep, thank you. Um, so it's all right. Not bad. And I could always dump it if need be for something else, something better. And I do have two pairs of shoes. This is the last things in this bag. So I have two pairs of runners, two pairs, one pair of runners. Um, and I've been running a little bit on my trip since I've been in Kennewick and I had some time off, um, but not a whole lot, but I have them a lot for just walking around since my cycling shoes are not incredibly comfortable and it's nice to kind of get out of them at least a little bit every day. Um, and then crammed into the soles or into the shoe to save some space, I have an extra lens in a lens bag with a couple uh, lens caps and filters. Um, like I said, I have a 20 millimeter lens on right now uh, for a little bit of a wider angle, um, which helps when I'm doing a video like this. But then I have a smaller, I think it's a 2460 millimeter. Um, just a little guy. So this is what I normally have on my camera. Um, it's by Sony and uh, it's super light. I love it. And I just have it in my, my front bag, like I said, so I can really easily take some snapshots of what's going on. Uh, and then on in the other shoe, I have a little wrench just in case I need to fiddle around with things. Um, and I have a bunch of rope or a little twine wrapped around it uh, with a little carabiner. So when I get into bear country, I'm going to start um, hanging my my food and my my camping stove um, so the bears don't eat me or my panniers in my sleep. Um, so I'm going to use this to kind of help with that and tie everything up. And then I do have a second spare tube. So I have two spare tubes and a spare tire on me, uh, just in case anything comes up, I'm fully prepared and I don't have to spend a lot of time on the road 
repairing a tube. Um, so I can really just replace the tube and get on the road and then come uh, nighttime when I'm at camp, then I can repair that tube with my patch kit and everything um, to save time, right? Because it's always really shitty if you're on the side of the road and there's cars ripping past you and you're trying to repair a tube. So that's not fun. So my brother gave me that tip. Thank you, Ben. I appreciate that. So last bag, uh, let's get ready. Before I dive into that though, I do have down here uh, Morph Road, Road Morph G, I believe, by Topeak, uh, a little uh, um, pump, air pump. Um, this is super nice. Let me grab it real quick. Because uh, one, it's in a very nice location, so I don't have to worry about it, and it's way out of the way. Um, and it just connected to one of these little brackets on the frame. Um, but this sucker is so freaking nice. So it has a little extender, right? So this is a little tubey tube, and it has a little gauge pressure gauge which is lovely and like it is a little long but I mean real nice comfy but the sickest feature that I love is a little hook there um, that you can step on and really use your leverage to kind of secure to leverage to really pump but then secure the pump with your weight um, over your foot so really enjoy that so pump and on to the last bag pretty exciting stuff right So, here's kind of the bags once again. Um, they're great. Ordleib, Ordleb, whatever it is. Um, and then I have two of these little shoulder straps on two of my bags. Um, so if I ever need to bring them into a store, um, I have it. And it's pretty easy to kind of just have on my person. So sometimes I have really important stuff um, that I like to carry with me. So this is a... 70 liter um, little foldable water bottle, which is super nice. So I always have this full um, as well as my other water bottles, um, just in case I run out of services to kind of attend um, and fill up, you know, all my water bottles. So it's nice to have water on you. Like I said, you know, water, lack of water can really kill you. So hydrate everybody. So this is my lovely drone. Uh, it's in this awesome waterproof case. I'm not going to take out absolutely everything, um, but this is, uh, I have a DJI uh, Mavic Air 2, love it, and it has an active track feature where it can follow uh, you along uh, wherever you go, whatever you ride, um, love it. So I have uh, three batteries with that, a charger, um, and then obviously the drone and controller. Um, haven't used a whole lot on my trip so far, I've been kind of focused on just surviving <laughs> with this heat. Um, but I definitely, as the trip continues, I hope to really use it a lot, especially as I get into the mountainous regions um, in Idaho, Montana, uh, Wyoming, um, and like the badlands of South Dakota as I make my way to the Northeast. I think I'll, I'll get some really cool shots, which I'm excited about. Um, and then what else is in here? I have, this is my little uh, compression sack full of all my clothes. So this is everything that I have in terms of clothes. is in here on my person. And then I have my rain jacket and uh, that mid layer that I showed you previously um, and everything that I have. So I have two riding shorts, two padded riding shorts um, and a, another pair of like casual shorts that I wear over the top. Um, so I don't look like an absolute uh, hippie uh, when I'm riding into some of these uh, rural cities. Um, the less stairs that I get and the less attention that, you know, it brings me likely the better. Um, and then I have a long sleeve. I have a spare t-shirt. This is my um, second t-shirt. Uh, and then I have a pair of pants, which I'm wearing. I have a pair of long tights um, to serve as a layer. And then I have two additional pair of, pairs of socks. I'm wearing one pair now. And then lastly, I have rain pants, which are in there. And that's everything in terms of clothes that I have. Oh, and I have uh, running shorts. Um, so if I ever want to run, I have a pair of shorts. And there's really not that much left, you know, in this bag. So I went through nearly everything, which is pretty phenomenal. I, when I'm carrying this stuff, it feels like I have a lot more than I really have just because it's so heavy. Um, but one thing that I didn't show you, I don't know where it was. It must have been in my, um, oh, it's probably in here with my cam stove, right in this little bag. I have a water filter 
So just in case um, I really feel desperate and I need to get water in some kind of a stream or lake, um, I can use that water filter in this, this little baggie that comes with it. So you can just fill the sucker up with some fresh water or with, yeah, with some uh, lake water, stream water, and then you squeeze it through the water filter into another bottle that you have. And it comes out clean and drinkable and hopefully won't kill me when I do that or if I need to do that. Um, so this is really packable, obviously, so I just have it. Uh, in my bag. And then the last thing that I have is a couple spare bags, waterproof bags, just in case I need to protect something else. Uh, probably somewhere in my cockpit area, you know, in that handlebar bag. It is waterproof, but just in case uh, something else, I have this and then I have some money in there um, just as a little surprise if I forget about it or if my wallet gets stolen, I have some money, you know. Uh, and that is my bike. Uh, and that is everything that I have on my bike. Um, and then lastly, obviously me, I'm on my bike riding across the country. So I'm a pretty important piece of this puzzle and the gear that I have. Um, but that's everything that I have. And I'll give you one last look of this. All right. So that's the tour um, of my bike. And if you saw that, I did, I did double wrap my handlebars. Um, that's just uh, for a little bit more protection and some comfort um, when I'm riding a lot. So that's a video. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, uh, let me know if there's anything else that you'd like to learn about my trip or you'd like me to share about my journey. Um, I'm happy to take that into consideration as I'm um, riding across the country and one last time right I'm riding from Seaside Oregon to Portland Maine I'm kind of making my own route as I go I don't have a ton planned out but I have enough <laughs> uh, and I think I'll arrive before snowfall uh, so that's my big goal crossing my fingers and I think it'll take me three and a half four months to make it happen so thanks for joining me um, and I'm sure I will see you at some point soon as in like me talking to myself at some point soon. Sweet, thanks, bye.